For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath shown it unto them. I've looked on the internet, <coughs> and most everybody uh, that is uh, taught this little passage here have the wrath of God have, have these people, this audience that uh, Paul is talking to here in Rome, has it as a, uh, well, these are, these can't be God's people that, that he's addressing. But he's talking to the Romans here, and it says, uh, uh, who hold the truth in unrighteousness. I've noticed that, uh, that uh, to make this work, most all of the supposed uh, wise men on the internet have to add a word to this who hold back the truth i don't see back in in my text here it says who hold the truth if somebody's holding something in their hand they're in possession of uh, uh the truth that's the way i see this but uh uh they know the truth but their daily lives are, are unrighteous as if they weren't in possession of the truth but they are brothers and sisters I'm just trying to tell you that this magnifies the love of God <laughs> when you see texts like this in the Bible. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it unto them. Have you ever run up on some people out in your secular world that manifest these attributes of God in their character and in their life, yet other parts of their life are, are anything but God. But anyway, I just wanted to point this out again. I've done it lots of times, but I thought it was about time I'd do it again. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal... Let's read this. Power and Godhead. So that they... Or without excuse, because that when they knew God, look, <laughs> these people that he's talking to here knew God. The dead alien sinner doesn't know God. God's not in any of his thoughts. <laughs> Later on over here, he says right here, it says it doesn't want to retain God in their knowledge. You would have to have God in your knowledge to not want to retain him in, their, in, your, in his knowledge, brother and sister. So I have it on this text that, every, that most people, uh, not all, but there's a, most of the people that I've seen on the internet have this exactly backwards. But anyway, <clears throat> it, the reason they do is because when they get down here, it, it, it talks about, you know, uh, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the create, creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Talking about Jesus. For this, this cause gave them over to vile affections. Anyway, he gives these people over to, I won't go into all the detail, but he gives them over to a reprobate mind. And again, brothers and sisters, they would have to have God in their knowledge. God in their knowledge, not to want to retain him in their knowledge. So, brothers and sisters, this is, this is talking about God's people, which what does it do? It magnifies the love of God. I believe that at the end of the world, at the very last day, at the resurrection, all these type of people that God has loved are going to be resurrected. And then we're going to see the magnitude of the love of God. But anyway, everybody's got this backwards, I believe, according to this old boy down here in Alabama. Uh, okay, look here. Anyway, I believe that some of these uh, Romans were thinking of themselves a little smarter than the average bear. So God tells them right here, <clears throat> let's see. For well, not the hearers of the law shall be just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. I think that is a, 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 a roundabout way of saying, hey, uh, you got to do this whole law. So these people that are doing all these terrible acts here, uh, 
Uh, he says, he, he said, look at oh, what it says right here. He says, uh, but we are sure that the judgments of God are according to the truth, to truth against them which commit such things. Talking about all these uh, horrific acts of, of the people who hold the truth on unrighteousness, yet they are God's people. And at God's proper time, he will judge, again, he will judge his people uh, uh, that, that commit such acts. But, he's, but, it, but then he goes around and, t and talks to the people that, are, that think themselves a little bit better. Uh, he says, well, you, you, you're, you, not just hearing the law makes you just, but doing the law makes you just. And who has done the law? Nobody. Okay, then it goes on down here. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law are a law unto themselves. For anyway, in other words, he's telling you here, brother and sister, that the Gentiles, they didn't even have to be able to read because he placed this law in their heart. Uh, okay, here, look here what it says. For when the Gentiles which have not the law do by nature the things contained in the law, these have not the law or a law unto themselves which show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts the meanwhile accusing or excusing one another. In other words, your conscience, the God's law is written in your heart now, brothers and sisters. And it says, yea and nay, that's wrong, that's right. Uh, you don't even have to be able to read uh, or you don't even have to have the law because God writes it in each and every one of his children's heart, his law. But anyway, anyway, I just want to get on here and, and uh, talk a little bit. Yes, brother and sister, I believe that at the end of the world, God's love is going to be real. He's going to show down through the ages, I believe. People that you wouldn't even think. They certainly don't deserve God's rich mercy. But yet they are there anyway in the beautiful kingdom and the beautiful world to come. They'll be there anyway. <clears throat> but anyway, just wanted to point that out. I've done it several times. I'm, you know, much of the time. I was fixing to start out my day. I didn't want to say nothing, but I couldn't think of nothing new to say. It's all been said over and over and over again, but uh, we forget. We have short memories. No, brothers and sisters, God is gonna, has a great kingdom out there. And it, uh, we just don't understand right now. We think we have, we have a small God with a little bit of love, and he's poor in mercy. But I'm saying he's rich in mercy. And that's what's going to happen at the very last day, I believe. All these people that you thought uh, uh, were not included in his rich mercy are going to be there. Great multitudes that no man can number, every kindred, every tongue, every nation, every little tribe. So, brothers and sisters, that's a lot of people. And I believe, like it says, I believe it goes all the way to Adam, to this very day, and to the very last day. I just got my coffee here. I'm enjoying it. Thought I'd get on here and talk a little bit. Expound on those things I've already done a hundred times. But no. That's the way I'm seeing it. You know, brother and sister. And the sufferings of this present day, brother and sister, I don't believe are worthy to be compared with the things that he has prepared, prepared for his people. No, uh, not the hearers of the law are going to be just for God. You leave them folks alone over there that have all these terrible sins since you think that you're better than they are uh, because you don't commit those particular sins that are a whole lot worse. And they are worse. They are worse. Uh, but uh, what God is showing us is that by the grace of God that uh, go we. Every time I think myself a little bit better than somebody else, you know, God shows me that the only reason <laughs> that uh, you could be right there with them. 
all these uh, drug addicts in these cities and everything, don't count them all to hell. Don't damn them all to hell. Drug addicts, prostitutes, uh, uh, thieves, robbers, murderers, don't count them all to hell. Why? Because there just might be a child of grace, brother and sister. Hey, look, look, look at it this way. A lot of times, uh, a person may go up to his last day. You know, to the he might be an elect child of, God, of grace and live out his whole life. Uh, let's think about this: live out his whole life uh, like one of these people that, uh, that that don't know God. You know, they don't even have his knowledge. That don't, don't have any knowledge of God. They might live their whole life out, and then at the last minute, <laughs> uh, be changed into twinkling of an eye into a child of grace. So that's why we can't, you know, we don't know who God's people are and who the, who they aren't, who aren't. All I know is all around me, I see people that uh, have attributes of God. Some of them are kind, yet for some reason they don't want to retain God in their knowledge. And I think one of the reasons is because the way uh, he is being portrayed uh, on television this something to do gospel that we have on, you know, all around us, you know, something instead of a something done from the foundation of the world, of the earth, it's a something to do. And people just they've got enough to do just uh, keep <laughs> keeping their heads above water in the society we live in, you know, and they uh, they just want to <laughs> drop out. I give up, you know. Well, anyway. Thought I'd get on here and say a few words before I started out my day. I don't know why it what I, if it was any good or anything. Uh, that's why I see that text right there in uh, Romans one. Everybody has a, everybody has it the opposite way. Uh, that Romans one is talking about the wrath of God. But if you, I showed in another video where that wrath was was extreme unpleasure. And David was saying, I don't want to be disciplined in your wrath. God, I know how it is. <laughs> so that wrath, everybody, when you read it in the Bible, it's not necessarily talking about a, a, a eternal damnation. It's talking about, sometimes it's talking about ch chasing in his own. But like I say, you hadn't lived up to the law. You're just hearing about the law. That's all, that's all you've done. You hadn't lived it out from the time you were born to the time you died. But Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, has <laughs> well, anyway in, in it said uh on you he will not impute sin blessed is a man whom the lord will not impute sin there are people out there brother and sister all around you that you might think they're the devil themselves but he at the end of the world he's not going to impute their sin to them. why because he loved them and nobody tells god who he can love and who he can't love and nobody is going to be, at the end of the world, going to be saying, hey, that's not fair when it's revealed uh, all the uh, those that aren't his. Anyway, I thought I'd get on here and talk a little bit, but uh, appreciate anybody out there that listens, puts comments in the comment section. Peace and love from this old boy down here. I would go outside, but it was a little too cold. <laughs> But anyway, peace and love for this old boy down here in Alabama.